Many know her as the Pocket Rocket or the Mommy Rocket. She's Shellyan Fraser Price, a force to be reckoned with. Fraser Price is one of Jamaica's phenomenal athletes who participates in the 60 meters, 100 meters, and the 200 meters. She has amassed several gold medals in the 100 meter events over the years. One that stands out is the Beijing Olympic, boosting her prominence, where she became the first Caribbean athlete to win the gold medal in the 100 meter. But it didn't just happen overnight. It took hard work, a willingness, and a strong mind to persevere over the yards to claim victory. At 35 years old, Fraser Price now stands alone as a two-time Olympic gold champion and five-time world champion. Shellyan Fraser Price was born on December 24, 1986 in the inner city Kingston suburb of Waterhouse to parents Orain Fraser and Maxine Simpson. Fraser Price was a skilled sprinter who ran barefoot during her early school years, something she was unaware of at the time. Fraser Price was unsure on pursuing the goal of track and field. However, while at the Wilmers High School for Girls, she still participated in various track events such as the Boys and Girls Championships, an event held yearly where many schools participated. She claimed a bronze medal at the tender age of 16. However, it was her transition to further her education at the tertiary level where things took a turn. I am sure you all know the former record holder Asafa Powell. Well, it was Stephen Francis who played a major role in Powell's track advancement. He spotted Fraser Price and recruited her. She was indefinite as a young athlete and really didn't take the sport seriously. However, in 2007, things steadily took a turn as Fraser Price slowly worked her way to the national and international stage, placing fifth in the Jamaica National Senior Championship with a new personal best of 11.31 seconds. At the age of 21, the prospect to compete in the 2008 Beijing Olympics presented itself very unexpectedly. During the Olympic trials, Fraser Price finished second in the 100m final in a strong field of competitors. There were many skeptics and doubters about her appearing in the Olympics, with numerous asking for Veronica Campbell Brown. But this was refused by Jamaica Athletic Administrative Association, which was adamant about only allowing the top three athletes to compete. Shelley and Fraser Price was not a favorite in the 100 meter at the Olympics, and many did not expect the athlete to win the race. However, her incredible performance marked the beginning of a shift in emphasis to the pocket rocket, as she, she became the first Caribbean athlete to win a gold medal in the 100 meter at the Olympics. Fraser Price flourished and won multiple competitions after her triumph in 2008. She finished third in the Doha Diamond League in 11 seconds, second at the Rome Golden Gala in 11.06 seconds, and first in the Adidas Grand Prix in 10.92 seconds. She won a sprint double at the Jamaica Olympic Trials in Kingston in a personal best of 10.70 seconds, moving her to fourth on the all-time list of fastest 100-meter sprinters. But she wasn't done yet. Fraser successfully defended her Olympic championship, winning gold in 10.75 seconds, the second fastest time in Olympic history. And Fraser Price is a phenomenal athlete, and this can be attested by her consecutive win at the World Championships. Decorated with 14 medals, 10 gold and 4 silver, Fraser Price is the only athlete to win five 100 meter titles. In 2009, she won gold at the championships in a time of 10.73 seconds. With this victory, she joined American Gail Devers as the second woman to win consecutive Olympic and world titles in the 100 meter. In terms of breathtaking performances, Fraser Price became the first woman to win the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 4x100 meter relay at the same world championships. Fraser Price had a year to be reckoned with. She was one among the favorites to win the sprint double ahead of the Olympics in Moscow and in the finals of the 100 meter, she sprinted to the finish line in a world leading time of 10.71 seconds, a 0.22 second winning margin against Ivory Coast silver medalist Muriel Ahore, 10.92 
23 seconds was the greatest in world championship history. Fraser Price became the first woman to win the 100 meter at both the Olympics in 2008 and 2012 and the Global Championships in 2009 and 2013. She then went on to win the 200 meter in a time of 22.17 seconds and then accomplished a triple trick of world medals in a new championship record of 41.29 seconds in the 4 by 100 meter relay team. Fraser Price chose to focus on the 100 meter in 2013 and she zoomed to a record third global goal in 10.76 seconds in the final adding to her successes in Berlin 2009 and Moscow 2013. She also became the first woman to win the biennial championship three times matching Usain Bolt's and America's Carl Lewis and Maurice Green's career totals. Days after her historic victory Fraser Price led the women's 4x100 meter relay team to go, which included Veronica Campbell Brown, Natasha Morrison, and a newcomer Elaine Thompson. The timing of 41.07 seconds was the second fastest in history, breaking the previous championship mark established in 2013. As with many athletes, injury often plagues the body. With a victory in 2008 and at the 2012 Olympics, and also at the World Championships in 2009, 2013 and 2015, indeed, it can be surmised Fraser Price was a decorated athlete. In 2016, she set out to capture a third 100 meter time. In 2017, Fraser Price announced her pregnancy and was off the scene for a year giving birth to her son, Zion. Many believed that she would retire after having a child, but they were dead wrong, as this transition to motherhood allowed Fraser Price to change her perspective and had given her newfound motivation to compete. She steadily worked away until she finally broke the 11 seconds barrier at the London Grand Prix after eight races, winning in a time of 10.98 seconds. She ended her 2018-19 season. She ran close to her personal best times in the 100 meter and recorded three of the five fastest times of the year. In Doha World Championships, Fraser Price secured a world title, winning her rival and compatriot, Thompson Era, in a time of 10.81 seconds, becoming the oldest woman and the first mother since Gwent Torrance at the 1995 World Championships to claim a 100 meter global title. She added another medal, aiding her team to win gold in the 4 by 100 meter relay. On the 5th of June in 2021, during the J3A Olympic Destiny Series competition in Kingston, she recorded a new personal best, a new global lead and a new Jamaican record of 10.63 seconds, becoming the fastest woman alive at the time. A 10.63 seconds improved on the previous national mark of 10.70 seconds, which she shared with Elaine Thompson era and put her ahead of American sprinters Carmelita Jetta with a time of 10.64 seconds and Marion Jones 10.64 seconds and 10.65 seconds. Fraser Price won the 100 meter gold in 10.71 seconds in the Jamaican Olympic trials at the end of June, ahead of Sharika Jackson in 10.82 seconds and defending national champion Elaine Thompson era in 10.84 seconds. She also won the 200 meter national title in 21.79 seconds, breaking her previous career best of 22.09 seconds set in 2012. In the Olympic 100 meter final, Fraser Price finished second in 10.74 seconds behind reigning champion Thompson Era. Thompson Era's winning time of 10.61 seconds set a new Olympic and national record and she surpassed Fraser Price as the fastest woman alive. Fraser Price made a record by winning a fourth consecutive Olympic medal in the 100 meter, becoming the athlete with the most medals in the event. The quick time set by Fraser Price and Thompson Era sparked debate over Florence Griffith Joyner's long standing 100 meter and 200 meter world records. Fraser Price had reservations and considered retiring from track and field as well as being choosy in her competitions owing to her age and the demands of her body. Regardless, this perspective switched and Fraser Price beat all odds to win a sixth world title in Oregon on July 2022 leading another Jamaican sweep of the podium with a time of 10.67 seconds. 
Sherika Jackson and Elaine Thompson finished second and third respectively. She subsequently went on to win silver in the 200 meter, which Jackson won, and silver again in the 4x100 meter relay. Fraser Price maintained her domination by winning a fourth Diamond League trophy in Zurich, becoming World Athletics' number one overall female athlete across all disciplines and the first woman to break 10.7 seconds seven times in a single season and nine times in her career. Shalian Fraser Price will be recognized as one of the best athletes and will go down in history as one of the greatest athletes of all time. I am excited to see what she has in store for 2023. What about you? Share your comments. Till then, stay tuned to the track and feel things on.